Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Artsy, and today we are breaking down Sugar Sean O'Malley. Uh, we're watching the fight tape. He has a fight coming up uh, at UFC 299, uh, rematch against Chito Marlon Vera. Uh, so we're going to get the fight tape started here against Jose Quinones. Uh, in this fight, it uh, looks like Sean O'Malley is going to have about three inches of height advantage and three inches of reach advantage. Um, this fight here, uh, Sean O'Malley's coming off of this long layoff here. He did fight that Andre Sukumtot fight. Uh, that fight, to me, will go down in history as one of the worst examples of fight IQ I've ever seen. Um, Sugar Sean O'Malley actually injuring and breaking his ankle or something like that in that fight. And then uh, Sukumtot ends up taking him down, uh, losing a decision when uh, uh, O'Malley was already up two rounds. So um, rest, recovery, rehab, and now he is back in the octagon here against uh, Quinones. Uh, excited to see what this, uh, this UC run does. So uh, let's get this fight started. Let's see how this fight played out here. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Art C, and today we are breaking down Sugar Sean O'Malley. Uh, we're watching the fight tape. He has a fight coming up uh, at UFC 299, uh, rematch against Chito Marlon Vera. Uh, so we're going to get the fight tape started here against Jose Quinones. Uh, in this fight, it uh, looks like Sean O'Malley is going to have about three inches of height advantage and three inches of reach advantage. Um, this fight here, uh, Sean O'Malley is coming off of this long layoff here. He did fight that Andre Sukumtot fight. Uh, that fight, to me, will go down in history as one of the worst examples of fight IQ I've ever seen. Um, Sugar Sean O'Malley actually injuring and breaking his ankle or something like that in that fight. And then uh, Sukumtot ends up taking him down, uh, losing a decision when uh, uh, O'Malley was already up two rounds. So um, rest, recovery, rehab, and now he is back in the octagon here against uh, Quinones. Uh, excited to see what this, uh, this UC run does. So uh, let's get this fight started. Let's see how this fight played out here. Sugar Sean O'Malley minus 370 favorite in this fight. All right, here's Quinones in the blue corner. Uh, O'Malley here in the green trunks. O'Malley opens up with a push kick to the knee, opens up southpaw. Uh, Quinones also an orthodox, but you see orthodox. Quinones switched to. Oh, let me go back here. So Quinones switched to southpaw, and then uh, Cheeto went to. Uh, sorry. O'Malley went to Orthodox, went back to Southpaw. Nice push kick there that dropped Quinones early. So O'Malley uh, right now standing in kicking range, standing outside, throwing these long kicks, deep kicks. So he's trying to keep this uh, Southpaw versus Orthodox. Switch to Southpaw, throws outside low kick. So already showing a lot of switching in the stances there. Um, you know, whatever feels where he finds he has the advantage here. Nice push kick there again, uh, right kick. A lot of uh, lateral movement, head movement. Another push kick there from O'Malley. Switch back to orthodox. Quinones taking the center of the cage, another right kick there, so. Hands a little bit low, but leans back there, getting out of range. Quinones tried to uh, throw a right hand there, miss. Nice spin kick there from O'Malley. Switches off, circles off to the right, hands up. Quinones, uh, sorry, Momali still taking the outside uh, in standing and kicking range. Don't think Quinones has landed yet. Uh, it's just because uh, O'Malley keeps moving, circling, moving, kicking, different looks. One, two, it looked like he was a little bit short on that. Nice kick to the body there from O'Malley uh, from Southpaw versus Orthodox. Quinones trying to circle him down, trying to uh, cut off the cage there, but O'Malley doing good lateral movement, moving side to side there. So against the type of fighters here, you're going to have to slow them down with leg kicks. A uh, nice straight left there with uh, from O'Malley. Quinone is going to try to head hunt. Nice circle there, but uh, O'Malley circles off. Nice high kick there through the guard. Wait. So Quinone stands up. O'Malley throws his high kick here. It gets through the guard. Drops Quinone up against the fence. Nice uppercut there. Quinone rolls to his back. Some follow-up hammer fist and uh, pretty quick stoppage there, but O'Malley... First round TKO win uh, after that long layoff. So O'Malley's back. Uh, let's see some replays there. I don't think O'Malley took any damage in that fight. I go have to go back and take a look at the numbers here. But uh, flawless victory. So Gignonis comes up. He just shucks him off. Yeah, throws the high kick. Gignonis had that high guard, but it still got through the guard. And then some follow-up hammer fist here. Referee steps in, sees enough. So 
Barely breaks the sweat there. Looks like, yeah, he blocked that hit. Oh, he got him with the right hand uh, around the ear there. Threw him down. Oh, yeah, high kick there. So O'Malley steps in, round one, TKO win. I don't think he took any damage there. Looked good on his feet, had the uh, ankle braces there, but uh, again, didn't take any damage, looked light. Moving side to side, we saw a lot of switching from orthodox to southpaw. Um, he switched based on his opponent, so he must have seen some uh, some openings there. It looked like he wanted to go to that body kick. He does have some fast kicks there, so um, when he did find that opening, he was throwing the body kicks uh, to his opponents there, and then again, circling the outside. So we're going to see if that's a pattern. We're going to continue watching. Watching, uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. My name is Art C, and this is Fighting Sets. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for twenty nine thousand dollars at UFC two ninety seven. That is one UFC after two ninety six where we hit a parlay for eighty two thousand dollars. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats. Not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books, and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets, over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.